Welcome to IBN India Business News for July Week 3, 2024. IBN is a weekly business news capsule for various segments comprising business leaders, managers, researchers, scholars, business management students and teachers. IBN presents each week's important business events across various sectors in a sequential manner for convenient consumption of information. Advertising, Research and Consulting Sectors India has emerged as Temasek Holdings' best performing market over the previous 10 years, a key factor in the Singapore state investors' total exposure to the country soaring to $37 billion. In its index of the world's most inclusive brands, Kantar ranked Google, Amazon, Nike, Dove and McDonald's in its global top 5 while in India, it is Google, Tata Motors, Amazon, Geo and Apple. PwC inaugurates an immersive learning facility focused on developing employees as multifaceted leaders in life and work through a transformational leadership development approach enabled by a state-of-the-art facility to build PwC professionals as purpose-led and values-driven leaders. Auto sector German luxury car maker Mercedes-Benz is considering assembling more electric vehicles in India to help achieve its carbon neutrality and zero-emission goals. Ashok Leyland has bagged single largest fully built bus order from the Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation for 2,104 units of Viking passenger bus. Ola founder Bavish Agarwal's AI startup Krutram released its new pricing policy for Ola Maps, which offers 5 million free API calls per month for all startups in India and will cost 50% less than that of Google. Aviation Sector Pratt & Whitney, an American aircraft engine manufacturer is expanding its operations in India with the announcement of a new customer service center in Yelahanka, Bengaluru. SpiceJet Limited's board of directors is set to meet to discuss a proposal to raise fresh capital. The plan involves issuing securities to qualified institutional buyers to strengthen the airline's financial position. India's largest carrier Indigo cancelled 93 flights even as airline systems across airports limped back to recovery and resumed normal operations following a day of chaos due to a massive Microsoft outage. Find the video useful? Like, share, and subscribe. Core Sector Adani Ports has obtained in-principle approval from the Vietnamese government for a greenfield development in Da Nang, which will feature container terminals and multipurpose berths to handle different types of cargo. There has been no change in Tata Steel's strategy on operations in the UK, as per Chairman N. Chandrasekharan, amid growing concern about the restructuring plan in the face of change in government in the UK. The Asian Development Bank has sanctioned a $240.5 million loan to India to finance the expansion of the solar rooftop system in India, which is expected to push the ambitious government to promote and develop the rooftop solar system. Adani Group and Torrent Group are in discussions with private equity firm CVC Capital Partners to buy a controlling stake in the Gujarat Titans, an Indian Premier League team. Finance Deutsche Bank has resolved a $545 million claim from a Spanish hotel chain over losses suffered on foreign exchange derivatives sold by the lender. Quant Mutual Fund, recently investigated by SEBI for irregularities, has said that its assets under management and net asset values have hit record levels, the fund's AUM exceeds 94,000 crore rupees. Auxilo Finserve, an education-focused NBFC has secured rupees 279 crores in a fresh round of equity funding from a clutch of investors led by Leapfrog Investments and existing investors Trifecta Leaders Fund and Exponentia Opportunities Fund. HSBC has appointed Georges El Hidri as the next group chief executive, effective September 2, who is succeeding Noel Quinn, who is scheduled to retire on September 2. Wazex has launched a $23 million bounty program to recover over $230 million in digital assets lost during the cyber attack which occurred last week, 99 bitcoins reported. Government and Regulators The Supreme Court dismissed a plea seeking a review of its verdict, which refused to constitute a special investigation team or order a Central Bureau of Investigation probe into allegations of stock price manipulation by the Adani Group. The CCI approved the acquisition of 16.12% of Sriram GI Holdings Private Limited and Sriram LI Holdings Private Limited by Sanlam Emerging Markets, Mauritius, Limited. IRDAI fines Care Health Insurance Rs 1 crore, asks to cancel ESOPs issued to Rashmi Saluja Executive Chairperson of Religare Enterprises Limited. Find the video useful? Like, share, and subscribe. 
healthcare and pharma sector. The founders of Medica Bazaar, Vivek Tiwari and Keaton Malkan, may not receive their stock options, which were due to the founders at the end of June, because they don't expect Medica Bazaar to meet its revenue and operational earnings targets for 2023 to 24. Zipla received an additional tax demand of Rs 773.44 crores from the Income Tax Department for assessment years 2015 to 16 to 2022 to 23. Healthcare startup Econ Heal has raised Rs 15 crores in its seed round from Ivy Cap Ventures, which will be used to ramp up operations, recruit more employees, invest in technology, and expand geographically. Zensar Technologies acquires Bridgeview Life Sciences, a US-based IT and operations services company, in a cash transaction of $25 million, consisting of upfront payment of $14 million. Media and Entertainment Sector Z Entertainment shareholders approve Rs 2,000 crore fundraising through various methods, including issuing equity shares and qualified institutional placements. India has the second most subscriber additions for Netflix, as per the company's second quarter of the financial year 2024, as the OTT major added 8.05 million subscribers in Q2, which marks a 16.5% year-on-year increase in subscribers for the company. The Competition Commission of India has sent nearly 100 queries to Reliance Industries and Walt Disney regarding their $8.5 billion merger of Indian media assets. Realty, Infra, and Logistics Sector Hindalco Industries has agreed to sell a land parcel in Kolwa, Maharashtra to Ekamaya Properties Private Limited, a subsidiary of Birla Estates Private Limited, for Rs 595 crores. Find the video useful? Like, share, and subscribe. Retail Sector Swiggy announced its fifth employee stock options program liquidity program ahead of the IPO plans, as part of which Swiggy employees across levels and functions will have the option to receive liquidity of up to $65 million for their ESOPs. Hindustan Unilever's board has approved the sale of its water purification business, which will be sold to A. Smith India Water Products Private Limited for Rs. 601 crore. Varun Beverages, a franchise partner of PepsiCo, shares that its two subsidiaries plan to enter into an agreement with the F and B major to manufacture, distribute and sell the snacks brand Simba Munchies in Zimbabwe and Zambia. Swiggy, Tomato to start liquor home delivery in major Indian states these. Delhi, Karnataka, Haryana, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Goa and Kerala, focusing on low alcohol beverages driven by younger consumers' preferences. Big Basket launches SaaS platform BB Matrix, which plans to help mid to large stage companies operating in the omni channel retail, automotive manufacturing, and manufacturing companies enter the e commerce space. Startup sector Gurugram based Surfer Technologies told the Bengaluru bench of the National Company Law Tribunal that it has reached an amicable settlement with Baidu's and hinted that it would withdraw its insolvency application against the EdTech firm. Ride-hailing upstart Nama Yatri has raised its maiden funding of $11 million at a $55 million valuation in a round, which was led by venture firms Bloom Ventures and Antler. The National Company Law Tribunal allowed bankruptcy proceedings against Baiju's and appointed an interim resolution professional to replace Ravendran, in a move that followed a petition from one of its creditors, BCCI. Current and former employees of Baiju's faced an unpleasant shock while filing their income tax returns, when the EdTech giant has allegedly not remitted the tax deducted at source to the government, despite pay slips indicating tax deductions. India-focused investment firm Dorana Capital has purchased shares worth Rs 400 crore, in urban company from the home services marketplaces employees and other shareholders. Tech Sector the cybersecurity firm Wiz has turned down a $23 billion takeover bid from Google's parent, Alphabet, spurning what would have been the tech company's biggest ever acquisition and seeking a stock market flotation instead. UK antitrust officials are weighing whether Microsoft's partnership with Inflection AI and the hiring of former employees pose a threat to competition, the latest probe into the tech giant's ties with artificial intelligence startups. Infosys to hit campuses, with a total hiring target at 15,000 to 20,000 for FY25, following a decline in headcount over six consecutive quarters. 
Windows 10 users are facing massive outages globally due to a new CrowdStrike update, which has stopped PCs on the recovery screen, as the CrowdStrike update has led to massive outages worldwide across airports, companies, banks, and government offices. Tata Communications has begun deployment of the first set of artificial intelligence chips from NVIDIA within the company, according to MD and CEO AS Lakshman Arayana, as the digital infrastructure provider invests in building AI capabilities internally. Telecom Sector The Indian government is considering handing over the operations of MTNL to BSNL instead of merging the two state-run telecom companies, as the high debt of MTNL makes a merger less favorable, as it would require delisting MTNL and buying back shares. Bharti Airtel Foundation, commemorating 25 years, announced a Rs 100 crore annual scholarship aiding 4,000 underprivileged students in top NIRF colleges, including IITS. The Central Board of Direct Taxes has awarded the TaxNet 2.0 project to Bharti Airtel Limited for providing network connectivity, facility management services and video conferencing services to the Income Tax Department, subsequent to approval by the government. Find the video useful? Like, share, and subscribe. See you next week. Till then. Stay curious, stay informed.